Capiello FPV says, I was watching a video of Chris Rosser explaining PID and Feed Forward, what Feed Forward does and what it has to do with overshoot, what exactly the quad does when it's overshooting. Um, what does Feed Forward do and what does it have to do with overshoot? Um, I'm trying to think what you're asking here. So the P, the I, and the D term... The problem with them is that they only respond to the problem after the problem has started happening. Here's the analogy. Here's the analogy I'm going to use, right? The goal of the P and the I and the D is to make sure that the quadcopter's movement matches the commanded rate. So you move a stick, okay? You move a stick, and that stick commands the quadcopter to rotate a certain rate, okay? At a certain rate, 200 degrees per second, 700 degrees per second, whatever you like. Um, the P, the I, and the D detect when the quadcopter is not rotating at the commanded rate, and then they cause the motors to speed up or slow down to try to fix that. But here's the problem. The P, the I, and the D are reactive. They, the set point moves, the stick moves, the quadcopter is not rotating in the correct way, and the P, the I, and the D go, oh, crap, guys, get to work, and, and they react. So the, an analogy for that is this. Let's say that, you know, there's a kid, and the kid is going to steal a cookie from the cookie jar. And the kid puts their hand, they reach their hand out. And the, the command is, don't take a cookie out of the cookie jar. Okay? The kid reaches their hand out. They lift the lid off. The P, the I, and the D, they don't care. Hey, nothing's gone wrong yet. Everything is as it should be. No cookies have been stolen. <laughs> We're stretching the analogy here a little bit. The kid puts their hand in the cookie jar. The P, the I, and the D go, any cookies being stolen? Not yet. Everything is fine. The kid removes the cookie from the cookie jar. And P, I, and D go, whoa, something's wrong here. Hey, fix this. Too late. You know, the P, the I, and the D slap the cookie out of the kid's hand and put it back in the cookie jar. We're really stretching the analogy here. My point is that P, I, and D are both reactive. Um, they wait for there to be error. And when the error occurs, they try to correct the error. And they do it in different ways, but they're all reactive. Feed forward is different. The way that feed forward works is the kid reaches their hand out and feed forward goes, get away from that cookie jar. Feed forward knows what's about to happen and immediately starts correcting. So feed forward is based on your stick movement. Feed forward knows that when you move the stick, there will always be a short period of time where the quadcopter is not doing what it's being told to do. Because at this time right now, the quadcopter is doing what it's being told to do. The stick is centered. The quad is not rotating. The second I move the stick, I've created this disparity between what the quad is doing and what it's supposed to be doing. And what feed forward does is as soon as you move the stick, feed forward starts pushing the motors to cause the quad to begin rotating. And maybe it's a little too much or maybe it's not quite enough, but it's just like, get moving and we'll sort it out. We'll sort out the rest, you know, in the future.